I've had four for the 12 days of trash. Oh my God. I don't really know what's going on with these offers. Um, also, I just want to draw your attention to a video I put up earlier today uh, about Phoenix and maybe running Phoenix and or Ghost Rider with four lower level minions to get through RTA. I don't know if this is going to get fixed or not, uh, but I did pull chat and, I, and it said about 55% of the people do have Phoenix and then 45% of the people said they did not have Phoenix, but check out the video. Link is up here in the top right hand corner. And to that video, I think it's worth watching if you're getting frustrated inside of RTA Arena. So this is a special deal right now where you can get Call or Yo-Yo, 45 shards for $15 and a three red. Uh, I actually wanted to buy this for Call because that'll get me to six, red, six gold stars, but It'll leave me one shard short and I'll have, <laughs> I won't be able to upgrade it. And so I'm gonna sit on this for a day. Uh, do what you gotta do. Uh, I'm more interested in myself personally in Cole. It's not a fantastic deal, but it's not a terrible deal. Now keep in mind they do uh, sell, try to sell anyways, $30 for 50 character shards. So this is 45 character shards. So there is value there. I I'm probably gonna scoop it up, but I'm just gonna pout a little bit and hope that I get uh, an extra cull shard so that I can get him to six because there is going to be a blitz, a cull blitz inside of, in I think on the early part, first first Monday of January, I guess that'll be like the fourth is supposed to be a cull blitz. And so I'm ready to go on that. And that means, you know, is, is it really that, you know, how much time is that between now and then? Uh, is it really worth the 15 bucks? Probably not. Red, six red star draft controller. Now this really frustrates me uh, well, for a couple things, I already have some of these already at six stars, like Hella, Zemo. Uh, nice. It'd be nice to have Red Skull. I don't really care about Star Lord. I don't care about Mysterio. Don't care about Swarm. Don't care about Venom. Don't care about Storm. Don't care about Toad. I already have a six Red Hawkeye. Why? Well, you're not selling me much on this fifty buck price. Basically, the only character that would be interesting to me out of this list, myself personal is personally is red skull uh three of them would be duplicates and the other ones i don't really care about so no i don't know who buys this stuff anyways 50 bucks get out of here all right gear tier 15 draft now i am almost into dark dimension 4 i just need to get through these milestone events get through the battle pass uh, and i'll be able to go into uh dark dimension four i need a, like, a couple more days to get to level 80 but i've got most of my characters ready to go now here's the thing and, and i just want to put this into perspective that they're selling 18 superior gear pieces for 25 bucks that means they're selling these pieces for a little more than a dollar a piece i needed to collect about 300 total 15 pieces to get into dark dimension four and to complete dark dimension four with 16 characters, at least the characters I'm picking out, it's gonna be about 2,000 pieces in total. And if I spend more than a dollar on each one of these pieces, that means that I'm going to be spending $2,000 to unlock Doom? Come on, come on. No, no, no. So I'm not, I'm gonna take a step back from this. You know, I, I'm getting a lot of value in this milestone event. I'm getting a lot of value in the battle pass. Uh, I'm getting a lot of value in the war store. And I've been, personally, I've been refreshing the supply store, which has been expensive, 300 cores a day. Now I'd like to be able to get through this without that. Um, but I was also missing a lot of the, the 13s, like the ballistic weaves and alien spores. And so that's helped me get caught up on that. But actually after I opened up all those orbs, anyways, so I'm not buying this. I'm just, I'm not buying this. Because if, if I look at it like from the perspective that it's gonna cost me $2,000, if I keep spending a dollar in each one of these pieces and I need 2,000 of them to get through, I don't know, I'm gonna back off on this, but I, I, I promise you they're selling a ton of these and I'm tempted to do it right now, but here's the thing is I'm not at 80, I don't get to pick the pieces I want and I'm, I'm close to getting anyways. I just need to, to complete this battle pass, complete the milestones and then I'll be ready to go. So I, I'm just gonna exercise a little bit of patience and, and and get in there. The other thing too is I'm I'm going in with a less than optimal team, so it's gonna take me longer to go through the nodes, and I, I I will be able to get through it, but maybe not as quickly as some other people. But the thing is, 
how many of those people that are in Dark Dimension 4 right now rush through the first three nodes and then they have to wait until they get the 15s. Then they rush through, then they get through the three nodes real quick and then they're just stopped. I mean, it seems like everybody, it, the, the, the real benchmark is not the difficulty or character selection. It's just 15s is the bottleneck. So I, I think that, you know, I can get into Dark Dimension 4 with the team. I'm kind of, I got a couple of variables. I haven't picked out my exact team. But uh, and, and in those three nodes, ah, if it takes me a couple of weeks, cool. I, I doubt I'll be ready for the next, the global nodes. Oh, I get through that. And I doubt I'm going to get through those three. Then I am doubt I'm going to be ready because 15s, 15s, 15s. And my goodness, I'm not going to spend more than a buck a piece on these. Um, I shouldn't be spending more than a buck a piece because if I do, then I'm spending two grand to get Doom. Let's move on. Premium Orb. I'm not, not in the market for Premium Orbs, but this is the correct price. You know, one premium orb for two buck, uh, one premium orb for a buck. Uh, I do need pull, but you know, whatever. I'm just gonna pass on that. The X leader offer Cyclops. This is a no brainer in my opinion. Uh, yeah, this the, the, he, as far as the original OG X Men team, Phoenix X Men team. I guess it's the uncanny X Men team. You know, the the three core members is cyclops phoenix and colossus yeah this is a tremendous value two bucks for 50 character shards let's move on again same same thing basically 10 orbs for ten dollars does line up with my one dollar per orb valuation if this was gold orbs and if it was at the two dollars per gold orb values i'd be scooping these up because i really personally am drastically in need of gold at this time because the stat boost from going from level 75 to level 80 is significant and I'm going to be needing that specifically for this difficulty 3 raids. They definitely need level 80s, probably ISO 4s, Dark Dimension 4 needs level 80s plus my arena team plus U7. And it's not like going from 70 to 75 where it was just focus and resistance. Going from 75 to 80 has significant health and health and damage and I believe armor stat boost not quite 20 percent is what I'm hearing uh let's move on exclusive training offer this offer does add up if you're interested in the dad bros you get one of each of the dad bros these are worth anywhere from two to three dollars let's just say they're worth two bucks a piece training materials I believe are worth two bucks a piece so you got six dollars two dollars two dollars that adds up to ten dollars that's worth about five cents so if you need training materials and the dad bros uh, the Dad Bros might be Symbiotes 2.0. If you look at the way their kits read and their passives uh, and the, and their, their stat beasts, but if you read the, 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 their passives, it looks like it's the start of another Symbiote-like team. You know how like Carnage had the turn meter game? Well, they've got turn meter gain. They've got barrier regeneration. They've got some fun. They get self-heal. I'm telling you this Dad Bros, if there's three more Dad Bros, X-Force, Dad Bros is the X-Force, X-Factor. Dad Bros is the X Factor. The X Factor team could be the next symbiotes. It really could be. So don't sleep on these guys. Uh, I personally didn't pull high red stars on them. So I'm kind of just trying to get them to five gold and I'll just see what happens and hopefully they become available. But don't sleep on these Dad Bros. I'm telling you, they're good. Winner special ultimate pack. Personally, I don't place any value in this right here. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think that I can get in and I'm going to be blitzing. Uh, every two hours up to eight times a day, especially on the, the the blitz that's running right now. We've got one of the dad bros. I believe long shot has started right now. So I, I should be able to get through it. Uh, the math that I did is if I can get 20 wins per rotation, sometimes I'm, get, I'm getting higher than 20 wins per rotation. Sometimes I get 28. Sometimes I get 26. Sometimes I get 24. But anyways, 24 wins per rotation. I should only have to do like six rotations a day and I'll get through this, but uh, I believe I should be able to get through this in 11 or 12 days at the current pace I'm going, uh, but I'm going to be going hard. Anyways, I don't personally place any value in this at all, and I would not suggest buying this until the last two days of the event. See where you're at. Yes, the offer is expiring, but they always bring back more, but uh, there's no reason to buy this and then blast through all the milestones and then not saying boy i just wasted 20 bucks i've done that before uh, i i think this is more of a last minute purchase oh i mean i guess there's some people that just need the 15s and they're willing to spend right now to get the 15s i i, I think that that offer for 25 bucks would be a better way of doing that but anyways let's move on uh, not a fan 
All right, not this is trash actually. At best, this is worth a buck a piece. These are not worth four bucks. I mean, if this was sixty thousand of these, nah, come on, get out of here. So maybe sixty thousand of them. You know, sixty thousand fragments or something. Ten, it seems like they missed a zero on those. Those are the legacy one orbs. They're not great. Anyways, orb bundle. This is good valuation. I really wish it was more weighted towards gold orbs rather than red stars and or uh, ability materials. At best, right here we've got. $2 a piece for red stars, $2 a piece for training materials, $2 a piece for gold orbs. So this does add up to $12 of value for 10 bucks. If this was shifted and the gold orb was over here and, and you know maybe these two places were switched around, I just don't really need red stars right now. Red stars are kind of becoming like premium orbs to me. They may only be worth a dollar a piece to me because they only have like a 1% chance of dropping a five red. I don't really need four reds anymore. I need five reds. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, elite four bundle. So this is uh, $20 for an elite four is the anchor pricing. And now they're throwing in two ISO eight orbs. I would be more interested in this if it was the ion orb rather the ISO eight orb. Uh, so I'm just going to let this sit for right now and move on. Uh, resource offer. Okay, so we talked about 15s. So for $5... This lets me get six 15s, which is less than a buck a piece. If I compare that to the offer up there, which was 18 for 25 bucks. So this is, and, and this is in the war store. And so the war store lets me pick the ones that I need. Currently, I'm going for Ghost as my initial five and she needs 72 pieces. The other four members only need 54 pieces. So I need more tech pieces and I can be selective in the war store and just buy the tech pieces, right? So this is a much better deal for me. Uh, this is buying G15s at less than a buck a piece because you at 1300 and something, you get two of them. Uh, I just think this is a better way to go. So I'm scooping this up. Plus you could do other things with this war store currency. War store currency is good for, you know, Sif and X23 and so on and Mr. Sinister. And I'm using Amazon. I've switched my account over to Amazon Coins, which basically I'm saving 20%. Uh, there's a link in the description. Check it out if you're on Android devices. Uh, it does help support this channel. Big shout out to Amazon for helping me out. And plus, I've been saving. I wish I would have done this a long time ago. I'm saving like 20%. Oh, it's 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 almost a no-brainer in my opinion. All right, let's go. So we we picked that up. Let's move on. Also, too, if uh, anything that you buy off of Amazon after you click that link. Um, I actually get credit for you, even if you bought like Cheese Wow, or I guess they probably don't sell Cheese Wow on there, but anyways, you know what I mean? Everything you buy on there. All right, show business or bundle. Do not like these at all. So this is the campaign orb for this guy right here. And these are the orbs that have them on the side and then a random chance in the middle. They end up averaging out about five character shards per orb. Now, this is not a good valuation. In fact, I would suggest refreshing the campaign energy 50 cores, 50 cores, 50 cores, 50 cores, a total of 200 cores. And by doing that, you'll get about 2,600 fragments. So 200 cores for 2,600 fragments is a much better deal than 10 bucks. Uh, I also want to point out that this event campaign for, well, this is Shatterstar, right? Is a little bit uh, shorter than the normal campaign energy. So um, keep that in mind as well. Plus there's other characters in there. And also by buying the, doing the campaign refreshes, you also get other things like gold and maybe some uh, basic orb fragments. There's other things you get. Uh, so that's kind of a better deal. Oh, bright persona offer. Get out of here. Get out of here. Electro shards for uh, 50 electro shards for 30 bucks. Get out of here. Uh, the only time I could ever justify is saying to somebody to spend 30 bucks for 50 character shards if it was like gonna help you unlock a legendary or you know, like Hella or something, right? I don't know, but not this. All right, let's get out of here. Squirrel girl offer. No, 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 no. Squirrel girl, nothing wrong with her as a character. She's fine. Uh, 45, she's in a doom. I believe she's a farmable in a doom node now. She doesn't help you unlock a legendary, so I, I really don't see any reason to spend uh, 20 bucks for 45 character shards. Spider-Verse Orb. So on Monday, the Shuri event is coming, and then my expectation is the Doc Ock event will be coming two weeks after the Shuri event. If this helps you get uh, Shuri, go for it. I get it, but I, I personally don't like these orbs. Let's go. 
uh, premium ISO 8 offer. I'm personally not in the market at all for ISO 8. Uh, maybe I, I have bought the ION offers. I've caught up a little bit on the ions, but ions usually is the, the choke point for me. And uh, I've had to buy these ions before to catch up. Anyways, let's move on. Orb Draft, Red Star at best is worth two bucks. Premium Worth worth a buck. Training Orb worth two bucks. Basic Orb is worth at least a dollar. So this is the Orb Draft one that I like. The one that I do not like has Ability Orb right there. So I'm gonna pick this up right here. Let's open this one and see what we get. I actually kind of hope I get the Training Orb. Uh, I've been saving on my kingpin. Okay, hold on. I got to toggle away. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Let me toggle away from this. You can't see my password. Let's see. Let's hit that button right there. All right. Uh, personally, I like... Lost my train of thought. Oh, pers I was talking about kingpin orbs. Okay, we got that. Uh, I've been saving my Kingpin because Swarm is going to be farmable in the arena store on probably the first Wednesday of the month, which will be January 6th. So I've been saving. Typically, I, I, sa I use my arena store currency to open the Kingpin orbs, which has an abundance of training materials. It seems to be an excellent way. Okay, I got the basic orbs. I'm happy with that. Let's move on. Premium orb pack. This is not a good deal. Uh, this is premium orbs worth work a buck a piece. This is a kingpin orb, which is also worth a buck by a piece. And that's what I was talking about. Those actually have uh, gold gear, purple gear. Also, they have uh, training materials. They're actually, the only thing that's really bad about the kingpin orbs is kingpin. A uh, buck a piece. Anyways, but this only adds up to about $5 of value. So it's not worth 10 bucks. Let's move on. This has just have different art. This is the one that used to have the art with Yo-Yo and Minerva. And they changed it. All right, let's move on. Legacy 1. Uh, these, this offer appears twice a week, uh, at least more than, at least four times a month, I say this offer. Uh, this is, veteran players have little to no interest in this orb because it has kind of the legacy characters. It does have purple gear and gold in it as well. Uh, if you've bought this in the past and you liked it, then you're welcome to buy it again, but this is not really a special buy or anything like that. Endless energy bundle. This is probably only a value to people that are pushing to get to level 80. I will point out though that 3,000 energy does equal 3,000 screen time credits so that you can buy those orbs at 800 a piece. So this does directly uh, work out to being points for that screen time event. 3,000 points, you know, you can open up uh, several of those 800 orbs with the 3,000 points. Uh, no double XP right now. So anyways, let's move on. Orb Orb, gold orb bundle. At best, this is worth two bucks. That's not worth anything. So maybe that's worth like three bucks tops. Uh, I mean, this is a blitz orb. It's not worth nothing, but maybe like 10 cents. And that's maybe worth 50 cents. Anyways, not worth five bucks. Let's move on. Pack of shame. Get out of my face. 10 for 10 campaign missions. Yes. Thank you, Scopely, for bringing back the 10 for 10. Okay. Big money, big money. No whammies. Let's see what we get. I got 10 kingpin. You're trash. Oh, my God. All right. If you refresh the campaign energies for 100s, this is worth it. Now, this is not worth it if you only budget 50 campaigns. So if you do 50s every day, I, this may not be a good deal for you because 50, one, if you're doing the 50s every day, refreshing the campaign energies, that means you spent 100 cores and you got 100, uh, what is it? I, I, can't, I can't do my brain math on it. Anyways, it, you know, you get this, you get this many. But anyways, this is a good deal if you do the 100s plus. I'm going to buy this for me myself because I because I want to get the campaign energy uh, for the, the the milestone event. Plus, I can use this Blitz currency for the, the Dad Bros uh, Blitz right now. So that, to me, is a better deal than this right here. This is actually 100% trash. 400 cores for 300 energy where I just spent 175 cores for 250 of this currency. I don't get it. This is absolutely horrible. Uh, anyways, let's move on. I think that does it. All the offers down there at the bottom are not good. Let's toggle over to the free-to-play account. And we're just going to go through this real quickly. Uh, we got uh, Hawkeye, 45 Hawkeye and 200 energy. Again, 200 energy will give you 200 screen time currency. Uh, that seems like a good deal, a good valuation right there. Six-star draft controller. <laughs> I don't get this. It's just so expensive. 50 bucks. That's 
Well, how about microtransaction? That's a macro transaction. Get out of here. Come on. Give us like the $2 offers, actual microtransactions. Same thing with this. Uh, if I actually would probably be more interested in this if it was 25 or more. It's just, I know that I'm spending more than a buck a piece on these and I'm gonna need almost 2000 to finish Dark Dimension 4. It doesn't sit well uh, with me. Let's move on. Uh, we talked about all these offers. So I'm gonna scroll past all the duplicate offers. I'm gonna be looking for uh, offers that are unique to this account. Sometimes different offers show up on this account because on my main account, I have a large majority of characters at uh, seven stars. Symbiote Spider-Man. I'll tell you this. Uh, someone said, what's a good... Someone said, I have four symbiotes. I have all the symbiotes, but Symbiote Spider-Man. What's a good replacement for Symbiote Spider-Man? Mm, there isn't one. Man, if this, if this is the... You don't have Symbiote Spider-Man unlocked and you have the other four symbiotes unlocked... Boy, this you could make. Then I could make a very compelling argument for buying this this scammy fifty character shards for thirty dollar offer. Symbiote Spider Man is pretty much what the whole team is designed around. Carnage as well. Anna Venom is also amazing. I'm just saying, but it, the team really doesn't work without Symbiote Spider Man. Easily a top ten character in this game. Uh, I just personally have a hard time justifying anybody spending uh, thirty dollars for 50 Symbiote Spider-Man shards. Now, the, he is in the Milestone Orbs right now. The problem with the Milestone Orbs is that if you opened up 100 Milestone Orbs, you would get 24 and a half of these, about 25 of these. So you'd almost have to open 200 Milestone Orbs to get 50 Symbiote Spider-Man shards. Just think about that. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, that's good. No. No, no. Sometimes somebody, not really. I think we were all. Oh, we got to do the 10 for 10, even on this account. Maybe I'll get something better than Kingpin. Loki. Ah, Loki's not the worst pull for this account because Loki is a villain Mr. Controller, and that is uh, the pathway. Villain Mr. Controller is at six stars, is the pathway to unlock Phoenix. All right, let me know what you think in the comment section. I can or, or, um, what do you think about these 12 days of Christmas offers? Personally, I have to say, nah, eh, eh, they're not, nothing really suit. Nothing really has been like, wow. Hopefully the next couple of days we'll get those wow offers. Uh, personally, I'm looking in the market for gold offers. Just saying. All right. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on giving. Bye for now.